What's up guys, this is S197 Sloth here, uh, making my first video. Um, so I, I used to have a channel back when I was younger, but um, that kind of got ruined. So we're going to go ahead and start off this one about a car, a car channel. Um, so here we have my 2014 Mustang GT. Uh, I used to have a 2007 A6, but uh, I sold that one and I need to get this one. So it's a 2014 um, track pack edition. So it has some mods done to it from the previous owner, but I mean, I'm glad to have it. I had it for like a month already and I've just been loving it. So, uh, so today what we're going to have for you guys is... Uh, we're gonna be comparing um, a foam cannon, uh, the uh, stock Orphis that comes with it, with the 1.1 Orphis that I got from Amazon. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you guys here the package. And it comes with a pack of two, as you can see. And yeah, so it's a 1.1 millimeter orifice, um, and we're going to be using basically um, from Chemical Guys Products um, and this Greenworks uh, 1600 psi 1 1.2 gallon per minute um, pressure washer. Um, the soap that we're going to be using. Like I said, it's a chemical guy's product. It's extreme body wash and wax. Um, you guys can pick it up at Walmart. I believe it was 15 bottles. Uh, $15, sorry, for the bottle. And what I would recommend you guys get is the uh, snow foam from Chemical Guys. I, I got this one gallon um, foam for, I believe it was like... $30 so it was pretty good um so first I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the foaming action with this um foam cannon that I got from Amazon for like 16 bucks had it for over a year uh the foam is okay but nothing special and of course it's just 1.2 gallons per minute so it's not a lot so what we're gonna do here is go ahead and use about two to three ounces inside the foam cannon and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how that works so I'll be back with you guys shortly I also thought it was a good idea to show you guys kind of how dusty the car is um, so here it is as you can see it's just really dusty um, I haven't cleaned it for about four days I believe so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now but uh, so much for talking. Let's go ahead. I'll set you back down. And we'll go ahead and get guys so i just rinsed it um one thing i should mention uh before i get started is i do recommend getting the um quick detailer from mcguire's so it has some hydrophobic properties so you'll see a lot of beading as you can see um so it's really good it'll help you just um your washes your maintenance washes go by quicker uh especially the drying process uh, especially here in Arizona, it's really bad, it gets really hot, so it's important to get all the water off the car before you get water spots, of course. Um, so enough of me ranting, I'll get back to you guys uh, once I'm ready to foam it up. Okay guys, for some reason... And all you do is you're going to have 
have to take this part off. What I used was a crescent wrench and just kind of you know, play with it. So once you take this part off, you're going to go ahead and see the orifice inside of there. Sorry. Can't really see because of the lighting. But all you do is take a flathead screwdriver and you unscrew it. So you go ahead and get you guys. Okay. Now, as you can see, this one is the old one. Let's see if we can get a good shot of the hole. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Get the new 1.1 millimeter orifice. Go ahead, just sit that in there. Screw it in. Okay, and you just want a tight fit, you don't have to obviously manhandle it, but there it is, the new 1.1 millimeter orifice. Go ahead and just set the other one aside. Take this again, screw it, make sure it seals properly, so you're going to go ahead and get your crescent wrench. down here and just tighten make sure it's nice and firm that is not going anywhere so let's go ahead and see the foamy action okay guys um as you can see it is thicker and it is uh sticking to the car way better than before Of course, this is like the soap is obviously running out, but yeah, I mean, it's way better than before. Um, it is sticking a lot better to it, like I said. And I mean, as you guys can see, this is really thick foam, so um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend getting the 1.1 millimeter orifice. I'll go ahead and leave the links to the foam cannon. Um, and the 1.1 millimeter orifice down below as well as a sun joe pressure washer it's a bit better than the one i have right now um it's just when i got this one it was um i didn't know about the sun joe but yeah definitely going to be upgrading soon um thank you guys for watching uh please like comment and subscribe and let me know what i can do better next time thank you guys and peace out